All right, hey, shalom, shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, wherever you may be. Shalom to you, men, uh, presenting your bodies as an elder, uh, as a sacrifice, as a living sacrifice to lock you. And who are out on the highways and byways doing this work as Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai has commanded us to do. It is your brother Debakia coming to you again with another lesson. And I pray that you're edified. Okay. Uh, today's lesson will be based in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. And we'll get this whole chapter because it talks about how trusting in Egypt is going to be the downfall of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as you Edomites, you heathens. All right. Um, there is no hope in this place, as you can see with everything that's going on. All right. They're trying to usher in the CBDC everywhere you look. You see digital currency being pushed. What you got all hell breaking loose, crime uh, popping off all over the place. All right. Uh, sedition amongst men, people fighting each other. If you can't tell that this is the end, y'all watch me. I simply isn't dealing with you. All right. I pray that you're edified by this lesson. And uh, once again, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, in verse 1, 31, excuse me, Isaiah 31, in verse 1. What sorrow awaits those who look to Egypt for help? And we know from the book of Revelation that your modern day Egypt is America. Okay, it's spiritual Egypt. If you can receive that. They literally have the same customs and the same traits that the Egyptians did. Going on to the Babylonians, the Assyrians, okay, etc. What? The Romans, the Greeks, all right? They all follow Canaanite and Hamite culture, and especially you Edomites, with your sex rituals, all right? With your uh, uh, crazy parties that you be having. I won't even go into that because they'll take the channel down, but still. You know, there's nothing new under the sun. So once again, Isaiah 31, verse 1. What sorrow awaits those who look to Egypt for help? So if you're looking for the so-called white man, uh, who's Esau, you know, if you're looking at him for help, all that you're going to have is sorrow and pain because he can't save you from these nukes, these this nuclear warfare that's about to approach this country. OK, he can't save you from Jack, from anything. Uh, nonetheless, let me pause this video real quick. One second, let me open this door for this girl. I'll be right back. I'm at work doing this video. One sec. I'm back. The water for waiting. I had to just handle something real fast at the job. But um, I said 30 in uh, verse 31 and verse one again. What sorrow awaits those who look to Egypt for help? So looking to Egypt for help is just going to lead you to sorrow. Continuing on. Trust in their horses, their, their uh, power structure, chariots and charioteers. All right. Their system in general and depending on the strength of human armies. All right, you, these Americans out here in this country are just so prideful and on the level to the point where they think that they can't be took down by, by these armies in America, uh, across the world. Okay, for, for example, what, the, uh, Russia, uh, China, you know, all, all these common enemies that America has had since the 60s. But, you know, the pride is very high right now 
in this country to the point where we, you know, Americans, not we, but you, these simple ass Edomite Americans just can't fathom the thought of thermonuclear uh, missiles destroying this country and laying flat everything that Esau Edom has created. All right, but it's coming. That time is soon and that time is near. As the elders and apostles at Great Millstone have been telling us for what, 35 plus years, just uh, since the schools of, of One West in the uh, late, late 60s. Okay? Uh, trusting their horses, chariots, and charioteers, uh, and depending on the strength of human armies, instead of looking to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel. All right, that's what the remnant, the hopeful elect is doing right now. We're looking towards Yahweh Shai, the King of Israel, okay, for our help and salvation. We don't trust in this damn system. That's the reason why, you know, those of us who have some type of understanding and, and who are in this truth didn't take that uh, serpent juice, all right? You know what I'm talking about, that thing that they mandated a few years ago when we had that so-called pandy. Okay, we didn't take that. We didn't. We didn't. We understand that Yahweh Shai is the one who controls our livelihood. He's the one who controls us. We don't control anything. All right. What does it say? Um, uh, tr uh, trust. Lean not on. Lean not on thine own understanding. And what else? Man's goings are of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Instead of looking to the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, verse two, Isaiah thirty-one and two. Oh, and this is in the New Living Translation, by the way. This is not the King James Version. We're getting a New Living Translation just so we can get these words a little better and have, you know, more understanding. Because sometimes the King James Version is a bit difficult to read for and listen to for some listeners. But if you want to hear it straight from the KJV, you can just leave me a comment or, uh, you know, just let me know. And we'll, we'll get the KJV. And I'll be going back to the KJV here soon. King James Version Bible here soon, by the way. Continue on. Uh, Isaiah 31 and 2. In his wisdom, the Lord Yahweh will send great disaster. Yahweh is sending great disaster to this country. Every time you look up, there's some, some crazy stuff going on across uh, uh, around the world. And, and more or less in, this ho in our homeland uh, or where we live right now, America. All right? All type of agendas are being pushed. And you just see division amongst the people. In his wisdom, the Lord will send great disaster. He will not change his mind. See, how about Shemihah Shai is not going to change his mind because he has it set in stone that he's going to destroy Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, woman, and child in thermonuclear fire. And then after that, they'll be uh, gathering up the elite. We'll be gathering up the elite and having them clean up this land, presume, uh, cleaning up the, uh, the disastrous Stuff that happens after those nukes are dropped, after we come out of them chariots, okay? And, and we're going to have them in chains. We're going to have the elite in chains. It's a beautiful feeling to know that, we you know, we have hope in this thing and that Esau Edom is not going to go unpunished because they have a lot of sensationalism with their movies and stuff. They just think that they're going to go to, you know, heaven right when they die. All that stuff is myths and it's not real. What is real is you damn heathens, as well as you Edomites, go into slavery once the children of Israel, beginning with Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai, ruling on earth. He will not change his mind. He will rise against the wicked and against their helpers. For these Egyptians are mere humans, not God. Okay, you see the exclamation mark there? These Egyptians, these modern day Edomites are not God. All right, they can't do shit. They can't save you, but who can save you is Yahabah Yahabah Shemihah Shai. Those names can save you alone. Their horses are puny flesh, not mighty spirits. When the Lord raises His fists against them, those who help will stumble, and those who and those being helped will fall. They will all fall down and die together. These are my words. These are the words of the Lord. Call Lai Haba Shimei Shai. All right? But this is what the Lord Yahweh has told me. And this is the prophet Isaiah speaking. When a strong lion stands, 
growling over a sheep it has killed. It is not frightened by the shouts and noise of a whole crowd of shepherds. In the same way, the Lord Yahweh of heaven's armies will come down and fight on Mount Zion. The Lord of heaven's armies will hover over Jerusalem and protect it like a bird, its nest. And that's going into those chariots because those chariots are only for the children of Israel. All right. And protect it like a bird protected its nest. So Yahweh yeah, is going to protect us in those chariots from the coming disaster of all these wars breaking out. World War III is also prophesied in the Bible. All right, these are beautiful times to be in. We're seeing prophecy after prophecy be fulfilled. He will defend it and save the city. He will pass over it and rescue it. Do you believe in the chariots? Do you believe in the so-called UFOs? Because Yahweh is shy, and the angels dwell amongst those UFOs. Isaiah thirty-two and verse six: Though you are such wicked rebels, my people, come and return to the Lord Yahweh. I know the glorious day will come when each of you will throw away the gold idols and silver images your sinful hands have made. And what's an idol? That crucifix that Jake's ass loves. That Caesar Borgier bullshit that Jake loves. All right, that white Jesus crap. That shit is a fucking idol. That uh, Mother Mary worship is a fucking idol. What else is an idol? You Jake's and being Muslims. You're stupid as hell. You don't realize the Yahweh Shem has bugged you out. Pursuant to the book of uh, Deuteronomy 28. Uh, verses. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 verses 15 through uh, 68. Going into the curses. Yahweh Shem did that. If you're out here still eating pork, Yahweh Shem has bugged you out. But nonetheless, the remnant will return and seek Yahweh Shem face. Ten times more, as well as fast and pray and present our bodies as living sacrifices for Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 31 and verse 8. The Assyrians will be destroyed, but not by the swords of men. The sword of Yahweh will strike them, and they will panic and flee. The, and who's the modern day Assyrians? These Edomites, aka uh, you Americans. The strong young Assyrians will be taken as captives. You see, right there, captive slavery, right there, captivity. Even the strongest, quake, even the strongest will quake with terror, and princes will flee when they see your battle flag. Says the Lord, whose fire burns in Zion, whose flame blazes from Jerusalem. Call La Yabashim Shai, the Wadi Yabashim Shai, for saving Jerusalem and, and choosing us to be your special people. Okay, I pray that you were edified by this lesson. I'm going to close it out by saying, call halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash, Shalom. Check that out. It ends on 444. Thwadi Yahweh, Shai.